Now on Toledo News This Morning, summer literacy. Everything you need to know about this year's Toledo Library Summer Read Program. Plus, farmers market activities. Looking to head downtown today? Hear what's happening on Market Street. And football fun. A camp entering its 20th year returns Monday. Coming up in sports, I have details. It's Saturday, June 11th, 2022. Good Saturday morning. My name is Jaden Jefferson and welcome to Toledo News This Morning. We start with a check of your first forecast as well as a traffic update from downtown Toledo. For today, you can expect a high in the upper 70s and a low in the lower 60s. So it should generally be a good day for your weekend plans. The reconstruction of I-75 in downtown Toledo, north of the Maumee River, is about 85% complete, according to ODOT. All of the steel for the new infrastructure is now in place, and the I-75 northbound exit ramp to downtown and the inbound Anthony Wayne Trail is now open. If you're heading out today, you might want to consider a trip to the Toledo Farmer's Market. Today from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., vendors, including food trucks, live music, and more will be present for a day of fun. With regard to COVID-19 protocols, for those fully vaccinated, masks and physical distancing are not required. For those who are not fully vaccinated, masks and physical distancing is recommended. The market is located on Market Street in downtown Toledo. The city of Toledo and a group of local organizations are coming together to promote healthy living in our community. Talk About What We Walk About will be held today from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Frederick Douglass Center on Indiana Avenue. There will be free health screenings, CPR training, guest speakers, and other programs. To learn more, visit the City of Toledo's Facebook page. Also happening today, the City of Toledo will hold a free community recycling event at Indiana Avenue Baptist Church. The event runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. What's being accepted this week, in addition to recyclables, are household hazardous waste, oil-based paints and stains, medical equipment, and residential yard waste. Finally, today, Lucas County K-9 Care and Control will be hosting an adoption event at Furniture Palace. From noon to 4 p.m. in the parking lot of their Reynolds Road location, the fee to adopt dogs older than six months will be reduced to $25. That includes having your new pets spayed or neutered, initial vaccinations, registered microchip, heartworm testing and prevention, and parasite treatment if needed. The adoption of any dog from the shelter also requires the purchase of a license, which is $25 in Lucas County. They are good through January 31st of 2023. In addition to adoptable dogs, there will be giveaways, the Tamale Guy food truck, and Glazem Gourmet funnel cakes. As of today, more than 60 dogs and puppies at LC4 are searching for new homes. And next Saturday, there will be a low-cost vaccination and microchip clinic for the surrounding community. The appointment-only clinic will take place at LC4's Erie Street location from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. The event offers an opportunity for dog owners who may not otherwise be able to provide veterinary care a more affordable option. Appointments and additional information regarding the clinic can be found at K9 Care and Control's Facebook page or website, lucascountydogs.com. In the summer, the Toledo Lucas County's, you know, Toledo Lucas County Public Library's Summer Read Challenge is returning. So give me an idea of what's changing and what's staying. Well, basically what's staying is that we want families to read. Um, we want people of all ages to enjoy summer and read. Um, what is changing is that now when you sign up for your registration prize, you get a book to choose if you are a youth. And if you are an adult, you get a cool tote bag that says, ask me what I'm reading. Um, and you can redeem those as you register. So it's kind of fun this time instead of waiting um, for the entire summer to earn your prize. Now you can earn it right up front and we want everybody to spend the next 30 days making an effort to read at some point throughout their day. So the more that we read, the better we're going to be ready to enter fall. What would you say makes this program successful year after year? Year after year, you know, it's a summer tradition. The more that we, um, go back to our traditions, especially now that we are working in a better COVID background. I understand it's not post COVID, but I like to think we're getting there. Um, the more that we can go back to those traditions that have brought us a great way to connect with ourselves, connect with others, connect with the community, and brings us back to the things we love, which summer reading has been a part of our community for decades, and we want it to still be a part of our community. And the whole world really opens up when you choose a good book to read. And we want to be here for families to support them um, in picking out good books for all ages and enjoying our summer away from the screens outdoors and with the book in our hands. 
in what ways can people participate if they're just finding out about this and, and want to join this program? How can they do it? Well, I, I always start by saying, come back to us at the library. We are open and we are excited to have our uh, customers return to our spaces. Um, obviously, uh, COVID was lonely for us and now we're so excited. We've been open, but we're um, getting back all those in-person programs. We're nice and busy. Please come see us. But you can also visit our website anytime. We've got all of our details on there for Summerine and you can call us anytime too. We have librarians and, um, and customer service professionals who just love to talk with customers and let them know what we're doing every single day. Finally, what can people take away from joining the Summer Read Challenge every year? Well, the Summer Read Challenge is just a great way to challenge yourself to read more. Um, when, when I read for myself, I get a lot out of it. I enjoy it. I read to my children all the time too, but something about challenging yourself to do something for a full 30 days can really reboot your daily routines and make you just fall in love with reading all over again. Um, when it's for a purpose and for a mission, you can find yourself making time for it that you wouldn't have otherwise made. And it does help me put down my screens and engage with the book. And then before you know it, I'm engaged with my kiddos around me. And not to mention that summer read can happen on your phone or tablet or device. We have audiobooks, we have ebooks. There are so many ways to make it convenient. If you're heading out in the car, put on an audiobook and you'll be well on your way to earning your 30 days of reading. And then that gives you great ways to earn our grand prizes, which you can get tickets for earning our grand prizes as the as the summer ends in August. So please keep an eye out. Come see us, visit our website. We want everybody to enjoy a summer tradition of reading. And I guess you could say we're falling in love with reading to get ready for fall. That's one way to, I guess you could put it. We are. I mean, if you read over the summer, you're going to enter oh. fall ready to tackle your job or that next school year ahead of you. Research shows that. So the more you read, the better. For sure. And Lauren Vokey with the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. It's the summer season, which means kids everywhere have more time on their hands. Luckily, there's a positive opportunity being offered by a local man who's been making a difference in his community for over 20 years. It's designed uh, to uh, teach social skills and to use the camp as a vehicle to, uh, uh, to uh, teach uh, uh, social skills as well as serve as a maturation into uh, into uh, adolescence and beyond. It's a more or less like an enrichment program uh, for boys. And in a time when we're seeing a lot of gun violence and crime that's happening in our neighborhoods involving a lot of youth, why would you say something like this is really important to have, especially now? Well, it's always been important to have. Uh, this is why we've been at it for 20 years. Uh, but definitely this is important to have because it's something positive. It's about love. It's about coming together. It's about the community coming together for a common cause and that's to provide uh, some nurturing, some love, some leadership, uh, accountability, discipline and everything to our young men, which are needed uh, for them to uh, ensure their success now and beyond. And this camp has been going on for 20 years. So you've been doing this for a while and a lot of kids have been able to participate over the years. So what have been some highlights, I guess, for you in doing this so long? Oh, wow. Well, when we first started, I was just telling someone this. We didn't know we were going to do 20 years. I mean, if someone would have told us that once we start to say, you got to sign up to do this for 20 years, I don't know. We probably would have had second thoughts about it. But uh, some of the highlights is that the longevity of it and the commitment of our sponsors, the commitments of to our volunteers uh, who believe in this camp, uh, the parents, and they and they believe in the camp. And uh, another one of the biggest highlights due to the longevity, we are now uh, working with a second generation. So we got young men who participated in the camp. Now they're bringing their kids to participate in the camp. So that's one of the one of the, you know one of many highlights that we have. For parents that are interesting and interested in signing their kids up for this camp, how can they go about doing that? Well, we do on-site registration. So uh, registration will begin on Monday, um, June 13th. The registration begins at um, 10 o'clock from 10 a.m. to 10.55 a.m. 
After that, the camp begins at 11 o'clock sharp. And uh, from 11 to 12, we do our social skills. And that's, we're going over uh, words of the day, uh, which is homework. We have homework every day. And also, uh, this is a time for, we have a guest speaker each day too, to talk to the kids for about 15 minutes or so. And then we're on the field. And we're on the field from about 12 p.m. until about 2.45 p.m. when it's time for pickup. So we also provide breakfast and lunch uh, for our young men. So there's definitely going to be a lot happening at this camp. And Dr. Carnell Smith, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you're welcome, Mr. Jayden. I appreciate that you're having me. That's all for the news this morning. Have a great Saturday.